Hey all, so as you may have seen in the last video, my truck got hammered by hail and you can see here that the mirror took a pretty good beating. Now, I looked at getting a whole new mirror assembly. This entire towing mirror, because it's power and heated from Mopar, is about almost 1400 bucks Canadian, which was ridiculous. So I looked on Amazon. What do they have for some cheap knockoffs? And they're about 280 to 300 and they're cheap for a reason. So I went to a wrecker, of course, being that pricey, these things are in high demand. So I thought, can we just replace the glass? And we can. So let's walk through how to do that. It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is push this mirror, oh, wrong way. Push this mirror in as far as you can and push this one out as far as you can. Now these just snap into place. So you gotta be a little careful. Now obviously this is glass. You know what? Let's put some gloves on. Now these just kind of pop out. And you'll see that there's two wires in here. These two guys here. So that controls your uh, heating functions. Now they both look the same, so I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to what's what, but we can test that out when we're done. So just gently Okay. These are your guides, and they go up against these three plastic things here. But there's two different there's two different types of backings here. Mine has this eight hole and has these stripes in here. There is a second type. You need to know which type you have because these things aren't always compatible. So it's really tough to see this half, which is the uh, top, is enclosed. And the bottom half is open. So what we need to do is slide this circuit or part down. Now, when you're ordering these, pay, pay close attention to where these little tabs are, and that'll help you identify which one you have. So if you just kind of gently pry in here, there's a little tab that goes in there, and you can sort of start to move it a bit. Again, you need this piece, so don't wreck it. Okay, so once you've got them separate, you're in good shape. This one's no good, but we have a new one. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, so this is the old one. This is the new one. They look the same, which is exactly what you want. Now, the one thing I did not get was I did not get these, these little clips. So I'm going to have to reuse these on the uh, new mirror. However, let's put those aside for the moment. You reinstall this part first. All right. You want to pay attention that these tabs are up and are towards the front. This side should go in, and we're going to reattach that. So you should hear a nice audible snap once that's secured into place. You might need a screwdriver to do this. You need to extract these little... Uh, These little clips. Just be gentle that you don't bend them. So they should just slide in. Now hook your wires back up. Now, when you put this in, this is a bit difficult to see. You want to put it in and catch on these little tabs here. Let's get a close up here. So you want, you want to catch the tabs on the back of the mirror onto these little tabs. You're going to put it in and slide it down. And then these little metal clips are just going to slide along 
these three things here. So it's a little tough to see, but hopefully we can do it. Okay, so when you're getting this mirror in, push it so the top sticks out like this so you can get your fingers on it. And make sure that thing is set in there properly. You should have a pretty even gap, top and bottom. And you should kind of hear it snap into place. So just make sure that's secure. You don't want to lose that going down the highway. It's really tough to see. But hopefully you can see that it's flush along this little circular part in here. Not a real good view, I can see that. But now the final test. Final test is, does it work? I would say that works pretty good. Of course, the next million dollar question is, does it heat up? does feel like it's warming up. I guess the best way to find out is the first time we have a frost. All right, so that's how you get that piece of glass into this particular type of Dodge Ram. I have a 2012, so there are there is a different style for the backing, so you gotta be careful which one you buy. This one does say it's good for heater, heated mirrors. The wires should, should the wires suggest that it is there. I guess we're gonna find out when it's frosty out. So for 50 bucks plus shipping, I saved myself 1350 bucks. Not a bad deal. Thanks for watching.